The wild card series win is the A's first postseason series win since the 2006 ALDS. They were 0-6 in their last six postseason rounds, one ALCS loss, two ALDS losses, three wild card game losses. Here are five takeaways from Game 3. It was also the fourth time this year that Tatis and Machado have hit back-to-back -back homers. The Padres hit 95 home runs during the 2020 regular season, third most in the National League. Thursday's game featured a little of everything and a lot of pitching changes. The A's erased an early 3-0 deficit to earn their first win in a winner-take-all postseason game in nearly five decades. This was also their first postseason win after trailing by at least three runs since Game 3 of the 1988 ALCS against the Red Sox. That was 24 games ago. The Oakland Athletics have advanced to the ALDS. Thursday afternoon at Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, the A's defeated the Chicago White Sox in the winner-take-all Game 3 of their Wild Card Series matchup, Oak 6, CWS 4. The A's are moving on to the Southern California bubble and will take on the Houston Astros when the ALDS begins Monday. No team recorded more comeback wins during this year's abbreviated 60-game season than the Padres, and they're on their way to adding another to the resume. In the sixth inning, Padres shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr. knocked a three-run homer off cards reliever Giovanni Gallegos. Third baseman Manny Machado followed suit with a solo shot of his own in the next at-bat, to tie the game at 6-6. Facing elimination in the first round of the postseason, the San Diego Padres fought back to take their first lead of the NL Wild Card Series in Game 2 against the St. Louis Cardinals on Thursday night. They did so in typical Slam Diego fashion, of course. Robert went 2-for-8 in the first two games of the Wild Card Series and really limped to the finish in the regular season, hitting .136-.237-.173 with a 34.0% strikeout rate in September. He is insanely talented though, and with players this naturally gifted, they're always one swing away from making an impact. Robert certainly did in Game 3.